some videos, but I'm trying to get that straightened out better. We've just left between Georgia, headed for Logan, Vegas, Loganville. Cole's used cars is there on the left.
to be a good story for y'all. Down here on the right, we used to come down here years and years ago. We bring the kids down here to Loganville Auto Auction. And um, brought a band down here one time to sell. Didn't sell it. But anyway, on the way back, my wife was driving my Ford four-wheel drive truck. Had a 79 silver Ford four-wheel drive truck. And for some some reason, we stopped in the parking lot up here. I don't know exactly why now. I don't remember. But anyway, starting to leave out of the parking lot, there was a telephone pole, and it had a guide wire. Well, my wife cut the corner a little bit sharp in that board, and the back tire ran over that guide wire. It pulled on the pole a little bit, and then when she rolled off of it, it sprang back. Sparks came out of the uh, transformer up top. I guess it blew the fuse and then and the lights went out in the parking lot and that scared her she jumped out of the blooming van I mean out of the truck I had to get out of the van and chase the truck down it was one of these parking lots right here on the right and um, chase it down jump in it it was just rolling and stop it before it got to the street down here 78 but about that time, coming into town, transformers started blowing and lights started going out, one after the other, coming into Loganville. <laughs> and one, so I told her, let's get out of here before they find out who did this, find out where it came from. But anyway, we came through Loganville. It was completely black, dark. We blacked out the whole blooming city, or she did. We did, whatever. On the way home from Loganville Auto Auction. They had good food. We come down here on Wednesday nights, Friday nights. They have food. It was a, it was really a, a not, well, it was a social event too. People come down here socialize and stuff. But it was a whole lot of fun. Come down here to Loganville Auto Auction and watch your cars and uh, they get started. They get to hollering on the intercom, everybody on the inside, everybody on the inside. <laughs> it was just a good time had for all. And they had a place in there for people to sit down and eat. Good, I said good food, good dinner. And we did that for a couple of years, I guess. Wednesday and Friday night entertainment, Loganville, Georgia. Go to auto auction. Then we just crossed Georgia 20 to the right it takes you all the way over through Rome and Lawrenceville all the way up there over into Alabama to the left takes you down through Conyers all the way down through there 81 when we crossed 81 it takes you down through um, Covington um, Oxford down through there and on 81 on to the right takes you on over through Widener but yeah, I used to like Loganville before they you know, did this little bypass, that main road back up there. It was always a nice little two-lane road. Of course, this hadn't been bad to get through right now, but there are times of the day this place is just this and Snellville both. I don't know which way we'll cut through or whether we'll just go straight. I would like to go through the city of Stone Mountain. We can stay on Memorial Drive, go through the city of Stone Mountain. But we don't know what we're going to do yet. We'll just have to see. We've about come out of Loganville. I'll go ahead and turn it off here when we get over the hill. We'll turn it back on when we're coming back and coming into Snellville. I'll restart the S22 Ultra. I think it's got it, the software updated. Yep. But the S22 will miss the story about Loganville and the night the lights went out in Loganville. What year would that have been? 
bought that truck as a 79 four wheel drive truck. We lived in Benton River. That would have been between 76 and 84. Probably around 1980, about 44 years ago. trailers like just like I'm looking for. I wonder what they want for them. But new, they're going to want more than I'm going to pay. I want to find a used enclosed trailer too to pull, put my tools in and organize my tools better. I've got them scattered in about four different places. I've got them some at Tally's. I've got them at Frank's. I've got them at Vicky's. I've got them in the shed. I've got them in here. I need a pull behind enclosed trailer. Put, like to put some solar panels on it maybe four RV batteries in it so I'd have some electricity put my generator in it okay let's turn this one off we'll turn it back on going into Snailville Coming into Snellville proper, we've already been in the city limits. Again, US Highway 78, we just crossed over Grayson Parkway. We won't start recording again with the S22 Ultra until we finish this one. I, you know, I don't want them, the people to miss the story of Logan Vegas or the night the lights went out in Loganville and I want to go ahead and upload from the phone so we won't uh, we won't continue it of course upload from the phone gets me in trouble sometimes of course everything I do gets me in trouble the Snellville Policia Coming up on South Gwinnett High School on the left. Pet Boys is still open. Do they do anything other than... I don't know what they do now. What do they do? They were big for a while. Everything has its heyday, then goes away, doesn't it? And we could go 124 up here, down through Lithonia. I like that drive, down through the Promised Land. Go down through um, Lake, whatever it is down there. Lake Norris, Norris Lake. I like that drive. But we're gonna go through Stone Mountain, I think. We're going to end this one on the other side of Snellville. We'll turn the S22 Ultra on and get Stone Mountain so we can upload it on the, on the road. One of those little cars up here is making a nasty noise. I don't know why people think that sounds good. It sounds terrible. up here on the hill on the right it burnt down <laughs> yep on the hill there on the right burnt down nothing up there now there's a lot of vacant land here still in Snellville that's a surprise shopping center over to the left. I don't know what they're doing there. It looks like they've got something going on. Well, no, I don't think so. If I'm not mistaken, that shopping center, the main 
Anchor store opened up as a Grant City. Anybody um, got that information for sure? You know, you know, the right or wrong. But if I'm not mistaken, that opened up as a Grant City, probably back around '73. We moved out here in '72 from Decatur. Lived in Gwinnett, what, 43 years? Saw Gwinnett turn from mostly agrarian, semi-rural into the mess it is now. Of course, I watched the same thing happen to DeKalb County. Growing up in DeKalb County, Decatur, all coming down Memorial Drive, there were there were farms, dairy farms right there where uh, 285 was, is. North Fulton, Fulton County, seen uh, the whole Atlanta area outside of the city limits of Atlanta go from semi-rural agrarian into the mess it is. And it is a mess. In my opinion. But I sure am glad all these people like to live all up through here because if they didn't, they'd be out in the areas that I like. Yeah, look at all this mess. Barrett Parkway. Pump truck, pumping concrete. We all making, we got a mess. <laughs> Bigger mess. This is a car wash mess. Legion, post 232, there on the right. Brit still open down here? Who's running Brit now? Who owns it? I think. No, it's not Brit anymore, is it? Well, I guess Tony Britt passed away, and I heard that Jamie, um, he was, you know, Britt, Tony's son, but, you know, he was young, but I heard he passed away. I don't know. Does anybody have any information on Tony, on Tony and um, Jamie Britt? Look at all these cars. Everywhere we go, but, you know, where there's car lots and stuff, there's just used cars after used cars. There are so many used cars out here now. I think the auto industry is going to be in some bad trouble. I think they already are. New and used. Interest rates, inflation. People don't... Well, there's some of them are doing it. These four-wheel drive trucks, people buying the blooming things for eighty, hundred, hundred twenty thousand dollars What is wrong with folks? But a lot of folks that have normal common sense are balking at these... Fifty, sixty, seventy thousand dollar prices for a blooming automobile. I said when I was trying to find a van, if you found a used one, you know, anything after about 18, 2018 to 2023, it would be running forty plus thousand dollars. And the new ones, the list price was thirty-five on the 2023s or 2022s. But if you did find a new one, they had an upcharge of at least going to 42 or more. But the, actually the base price was 35 just for a um, cargo van. Just a work cargo van with no bins in it. Oh, we used to get here coming back from Athens. You get to see the big rock. It was just, you know, you just see the big rock coming into view. You know, you're on your way home. You're almost home. Almost home when you got a glimpse of the big rock. We can't even see it for all the traffic. Oh, 
these car lots, all these cars. Okay, Bethany Church to the left, Killian Hill to the right. Killian Hill go over and turn into Indian Trail and go across and dead end into Beaver Ruin crossing over after you cross over 85. Um, Bethany Church goes across 124 and dead ends. You may dead end at 124, but you go across and then it'll run into what, Centerville Rosebud. Over there, should we turn this one off now and start another one going into Snailville? I mean, going into Stone Mountain? We'll turn it off, but we'll turn it back on until we get to Yellow River, River. Then we'll start a new one. Yeah, there was a little motel up here on the left. It was known for its shady activities. There was a pretty good little uh, night spot up here, too, up here on the hill. What was it? I don't remember the name of it, but... I bet the building's still up there. Or not. The building's gone. No, oh, there it is. It's up there. You have a Home Depot, all this stuff. All this was dirt roads. Used to love riding these dirt roads. Yeah, back before Shallow High School, that was all dirt roads in there. Yeah, down here at the bridge is Yellow River, and across the bridge is Lake Concern. It was Possum Lake Road years and years ago. It was Possum Lake also. We were fishing off the dam when it was just a little dirt road path through there. Caught two three pound catfish, big old catfish. Right there off the dam. I guess I was about nine or ten. Yellow Ma River. We lived on Yellow River eight years up here in Bent River to the right up there. Okay, we're going to turn it off and start another one with the S22 Ultra. 